How you doing everybody? Welcome to the channel. Out today and as you can see Power Up Bebop 2 Xeno. Gonna do a few tests with the Bebop. These will be similar tests that I've done before with the Xeno. And I want to see whether this is something that you could go for instead of the Xeno. Is it any better? Is it any stable? Any more stable? Is the camera good? The distance connection? Just to see do we have something else that if you're not too fussed on the Xeno because it doesn't have the sensors on the bottom whereas this does maybe that's something that you would rather have so we'll get it up in the air see what the stability is like it's a really windy day today. I'm sure you can see the grass and trees blown. So I'll get this up, see what it's like. Just hovering. Should be a lot better than the Xeno. Shouldn't dance about as much. Forward, back, bit of distance. So we'll see how this one compares to our trusty Xeno. Right, so that's everything ready to go. Get it up in the air. Hopefully, see what happens. See how stable it is. Let me see. I go this side. So, take off. So you can see straight away, it's hovering in position really well. It's fighting the wind, but it very stable at the minute so we'll take it up a bit push it out That's it set to video mode and you can see it's turning nice and slow, there's no real jerky movements to the side. I've it set in the 1080 and 30 frames per second and I'll do the same with the Xeno, that's what I usually have it in. You can see how much it's fighting against the wind today. It seems very stable. So, go back and up. I can see on the FPV is really great picture quality. And if the, pic the video is anything like what I'm seeing, then it should be great. So, go up a bit further. Let's see. That's the camera up. Camera down. You can also adjust the... I think it's the IS. Oh, so you can turn the, if it's too bright, you can turn the settings down a bit. So, let's see. That looks okay there. We'll bring it back down a bit. Stick it into sport mode and we'll see the difference. Whoa! That is fast. <laughs> you see the 
Y'all moving a lot more. Take it away out. That is one fast quad. So hopefully you can see it's very maneuverable. I'll switch it back to video mode. All the functions you get with the Xeno you also get on this. It's moving great in this wind. So I'll take it out, have a flight around the area and see how it flies. So I think I'll give it a go at return to home. We'll take it out a bit, hit the button, see how close it gets to the landing path. So hopefully that should be far enough. This is more or less my first time flying this. So see straight away pressing the button. You can also stop the return to home. So it's right overhead. Yep, and if anyone doesn't know that when the power comes back to home, it'll just hover in that position. It doesn't actually land until you tell it to land. So it's seen, you can see in the video it's very close to where it took off from. So we'll have a look at the follow function, get it up on the screen, I'll put the bebop up a bit and do the usual draw the box around myself. I'll just go a bit of a walk and see how that works. So.
So we'll have a look at um, some of the features that you get. I think it's stop button, 360 rise, reveal. So 360 I think it's just a 360 of the area. You can set left or right, so we'll go for left. Pick it up, bring it out a bit. So 360 left. As you can see, it's turning around. So I think we all know what that is. How it's doing it, so we'll stop that one. Epic 30 meters, 60 meters. We'll do 30 meters, see what happens here. So you can see it is going up and away. It just stays there. It doesn't come back to us and see that. So we'll come down. This one's like a reveal, I think. Yeah, so hopefully you can see that when you do the reveal, it goes up, tilts the camera, does a 360, some nice features on it. So let's stop that one. Bring it back down. This one's a reveal shot. See what happens here. It's coming towards me. Bringing the camera up. Ah, so. I think with that one, from your takeoff position, it's going to go 30 meters into the distance while bringing the camera up. Quite nice too. Some nice features on this. So, bring it back over. So I'm going to take it now and I'll have a last flight about, see if I can get some four or five hundred meter distance and let everyone see what the video quality is like compared to the Xeno. We all know how good it is. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. 
bit of comparison between this and the Xeno. Hopefully the video quality turns out to be good. It's a very stable drone. So I'll take a flight round, see how good it is. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye.